get to your new album because it's out on the 21st. Yeah. It's called Version of Me. And your single, Anymore, has had loads of radio play. It's a fantastic song. Let's just have a listen. But it's not working yet. I know, it's amazing. This is the biggest gap I've had between albums. And I actually think it's been a good thing. I think it's yeah. helped to make a stronger record. So much has happened to me, there's been lots of inspiration. Well, it, lots have happened to you. We won't go into it, but in your personal life as well. Is that is that's what's driven the new album? Um, yeah, partly. Um, I think everything that happens to me, it kind of comes out through, you know, my music yeah. and my lyrics. It's a really nice way to, to express yourself. And I think as a performer as well, it's really nice when you've written your own words and you have the mm. true emotion, you know, it kind of makes it more satisfying yeah. as an artist. And is there Absolutely. one song in particular that's, that is very special to you on this album? Do you know, I have to say, I've been ruthless with this record and taking my time I was just like there's not going to be because sometimes you might have a song that slips onto an album and you're a bit like mm, I'm not sure about that one or right, the record right. company like it or they think it'll yeah. do well at radio this one I've gone like no if it's not good enough it's not going on mm -hmm. so every single song really means a lot to me and, and the interesting thing is there's no instruments at all <laughs> on the, oh, the album. Album. <laughs> there is some instruments well I mean, there is it, but electronically it's a very different sound for me yeah I mean in the past I I've been really lucky. I've experimented with lots of different genres, always being pop. I am a pop artist. But this time, I wanted to go more electronic. Yeah. And it coincided really well with what's happening currently. Mm. You know, there's lots of younger artists and, and you know, mainstream sounds, pop yeah. music, EDM. There's, you know, there's lots of ele electronic stuff happening. Mm -hmm. And that vibe, is it right, that vibe came to you when you were in a yoga class? Yeah. As it does. You know, yeah. I was, I, and really? it does sound as pop star as it is, it is yeah. yeah. I was in LA in a yoga class, <laughs> which doesn't happen very often anymore. Um, but I, I was a little bit lost. I didn't really know what direction I wanted to go in with the record. I knew I wanted to make a record. Mm. And I was just becoming a little bit frustrated because often in music, in pop music, people try to put you in a direction of what's popular at the time. Right. And, right. you know, I'm a more mature artist now. I, I can't compete with artists that I love, like Rihanna or Katy Perry or, you know, the, the younger girls who are out there. And I just think, like, lyrically I have to be different and, yeah, um, I, yeah I was getting frustrated with people maybe thinking that's the way I should go and I just thought, I've always wanted to do this. Mm -hmm. Why don't I just do you know, it? I've got nothing to lose. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. We have to talk about the Spice Girl reunion. Do we? Um, well, yeah. <laughs> I've said it all. I've well, said it all. Do. You've all heard it. You don't want to know anymore. Yeah, yes, we do. do. <laughs> so, now, three of them have said, yeah, we're going to go for it. Yeah. Victoria and yourself have said no. Mm -hmm. So, big hard decision or for you was it something and you went, no, absolutely not right for me now? It was really difficult. Um, after the Olympics in 2012, yeah. closing ceremony, wonderful night, Victoria had said at that point, you know what, girls, this is amazing, but I think that's it for me. And, yeah, you know, we enough. totally respect that. And the other four of us, we'd had a great time. We were like, well, let's leave the door open. Let's see what happens. One of these anniversaries in a few years, you know, let's stay in touch and talk about it in the future. Mm. And as time went on and it got closer to the anniversary yeah. and we were having more meetings, it, I just was feeling a little bit uneasy about it. And... It took me a long time to come to the decision and it was really, really hard because I love the girls dearly and, you know, of course, you know, the girls are going to go on and do something, but I know they'd quite like to have me there and, yeah. you know, it makes yeah, life course. a little bit more difficult. So I felt like I was letting them down and, of course, there's still an incredible fan base and I felt terrible for letting them down, but I had to make the decision based on what I need. In your gut, mm -hmm. yeah, what mm -hmm. felt right. Why didn't you do it, though? Why did you say no? <laughs> um, it just, you know, there's a number of reasons. Um, I, I don't want to go into too much detail, but no. When we did the Olympics, there was five of us. When we reunited in 2007, there was five of us. And it just felt like it was such a celebration of everything we'd achieved in the 90s. I think to go out as a four-piece, for me, I didn't feel like it was... 
you know, I didn't feel like it was um, doing justice to the band or to the yeah. fans. Do you think your voices guess... are the same now? Do you think singing together after singing all Singing-wise? Um, you know, I really don't know. I've continued to sing and I've done a lot of theatre. Yeah, the others have um, haven't. Some of the girls, you know, every, everybody sang in, in varying degrees, you know, they've done different <laughs> things. But, um, yeah, you know, when we got together in 2007, it was just yeah. like the old days. Everybody and I guess if you've been it. there and you've done it and you've felt what it feels like to be that yeah. big, do you, do you want to go there again? Do you need to go there well, again? It's yeah. or... really complicated, you know. It kind of puts you in a different place, you know, in, in the media, in the spotlight and everything. There's a lot to consider. And sometimes bands can just be remembered as the fantastic bands they were and you don't yeah. have to keep doing yeah. the reunited. Well, I have to be careful, you know, how I talk about it because, you know, the girls have respected my decision to, yeah. to go on and, and to continue with my solo career and, and, you know, and I respect the decision to continue. So I don't want to say anything derogatory yeah. because, you know, no. I wish them all luck in the world. But the thing is, Anne, the good news, they'd be looking for two new members. Well, that's it. Then. Here we are. We're in. Yeah. <laughs> Job done. <laughs> yeah. Good luck with the new album, though. Thank it is brilliant. So Thank, Thank you, you. Mel. Yeah. Having just wanted